Dude, look! Llamas! Oh, they're so beautiful! Wait, I wonder if these are llamas or alpacas. Maybe both. I mean, they're basically like the same thing, right? They both spit if they get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, howdy there, folks. Pleasure to meet y'all. Alpaca Al here. You might recall me as the proud owner of Alpaca Al Storage Barn. Shout out to Abby and Hopper for giving me some great business advice a while back. Ah, uh, yes. If I remember correctly, their advice was not to spit on your customers. <laughs> oh, apologies. I should introduce myself. Lydia Llama, how do you do? Yes, you heard that correctly. I am a llama, not to be confused with alpaca, who is, in fact, an alpaca. Well, why do you gotta say it like that? Oh, darling, don't get your ears all bent out of shape. I was merely trying to help the humans with the distinction, as they were clearly confused. All right, miss. Lydia Llama, why don't we educate these fine humans since you clearly think we're so different? Ah, oh, I thought you'd never ask. Well, for one, llamas are clearly taller than alpacas. Only by like a foot. And, as I'm sure you've all noticed, our ears are very different. Did I hear that correctly? <laughs> Llamas have long banana-shaped ears that stand straight up. That's why we always look alert. Alpaca's ears, on the other hand, tend to be, well, short and pointy. Who are you calling short and pointy? And, of course, there's the matter of disposition. This for what now? Us llamas tend to be more comfortable around humans. You might say that we are more like dogs, whereas alpacas are more like cats. Hey, I like cats. There is a certain aloof quality that alpacas and cats share. Thank you. Um, yes. Well, there you have it. Llamas and alpacas. Very different. Well, I won't disagree with you that we've certainly got some differences. But I think you're missing an important detail, Miss Lydia Llama. Oh, yes. Do tell. You're forgetting all the stuff we got in common. I mean, that's a small list. Oh, yeah? Well, did y'all know we both come from the same family? Camelid. We also both like to eat grass and shrubs and trees. Also, also, alpacas and llamas have only one baby a year, known as a... Crea. Yes, I suppose you've made some interesting points. Oh, I'm not done. We saved the best for last. Oh, dear. I have a feeling I know where this is going. Spit. We both communicate strong feelings by... Spitting, yes, yes. If I agree, will you stop talking about spit? Maybe. All right, we have similarities. And differences, which is what makes us both so unique and great. Unique and great indeed. Ta-ta for now, friends. You know where to find us should you have more questions. <laughs>